Hello, Sam Owens here. We're going to uh, we're going to install the extended range hood hinge kit, and I'm going to show you all the steps you're going to need. These are the tools and the hinge kit uh, parts and the uh, manual. Let me just also. It's going to require taking the hood off. So have you a place to either store the, the hood uh, in a safe place, we've selected this. But whatever works for you. You're going to need an assistant to remove the hood and to put the hood back on. So uh, schedule a time when you can have an assistant to help you with those uh, two parts. First step, open the hood. And we're going to need our assistant now to uh, remove the, um, the mounting bolts that hold the hood in place. They're 13 millimeter and they're right here. This is a nut for the uh, pivot uh, bolt and, uh, or, and this is a bolt ratchet with the uh, extension 13 millimeter and take them loose now hold on to this uh, sometimes it'll wanna there okay put that aside now it's holding on to this uh, this um, hinge pin or hinge bolt pivot bolt um, as a uh, pivot point right now the other two bolts on the other side are holding this so everything is cool but when I take this bottom bolt out on the other side I need to have someone holding this hood because then the back of the hood is going to flip down so we don't want that let's go on the other side I'm going to take this one loose. This is the driver's side. This is the nut. Before I remove this one, I'm going to get my assistant to help hold the hood. I'm going to remove the support bolt. And she, I have my assistant on the other side. And she's holding the back of the hood up, taking the pressure off. And just keep going there pull that out and now it uh, is only gonna it's only being held on these studs on both sides so we're going to move the hood to our storage location I have to pull this side off you always want to remove it from the driver's side what you do is pull on the hood to clear that nut you may have to reach your arm under and then she pulls her end over. I'm not. Okay, pull that way. There. Oh, pull me back. Okay. <laughs> okay. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. There. Here's our system right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to exchange the pivot plate and the rear link arm with our new extended range head uh, hood uh, uh, hinge so we start by the latch bolt we're going to remove it we're going to remove both hinge plates going in there now we take the the other support for the front link arm and take it loose we take these hinge plates off of both sides and I'm going to do the driver's side now take the bolts loose on both sides take the rear uh, link arm leaving the front link, link arm in place. 
it's hard to get a 14 millimeter socket down in there so this is another tip you could use an open end 14 inch uh, or millimeter wrench and put in there but a, a screwdriver jammed in there will do the job hold it firmly get your quarter inch allen and i have a cheater bar here hold it firmly and and then you can uh, loosen it up on the passenger side jam that in there get your allen tool and hold firmly and then loosen okay all of the old hinge parts uh, that we're going to replace have uh, been removed and we just have the front uh, arm in place so um, link arm now we're going to re uh, we're going to install the new extended range uh, hood hinge study the photo for step three to assemble the extended uh, hinge and this is the uh, rear link arm and it must be installed with this position if it gets turned around uh, it is going to uh, interfere with the frame bracket here so uh, be sure of that and we're going to attach it at the lower location first both arms are identical so get it where this ridge is up and if you'll notice it's cut down so that will clear this uh, frame bracket so pop this baby in there put your bolt through and take your nut and screw her on. This is a, uh, making sure you get the small end out. And just get her started. And then you can use your tools to finish it. You just simply tighten her up. This is a critical uh, point here. If you install the wrong hinge, there is a left and right hinge plate uh, or pivot plate. That's what this is called. Uh, make sure you study the picture carefully and get this correct. Now this is your latch bolt. It needs to be forward in order to line up with that. So you see how that's going to line up. If you get the wrong one on, and get it like this, what's going to happen is you're going to have to redo it because the latch bolt will not line up and it could cause you problems and you be unaware. So I'm pointing it out to you. The correct one, and follow the picture very carefully, is this one right here. We want to mount that and what we do, put this bolt in, hold it, Put the nut on a few turns. Okay, then take this one and put it into its front arm. Now, there you go. And put that nut in place. And then you can just simply use your quarter inch Allen uh, and your uh, 14 millimeter uh, socket and open end and you're good to go. We do this for both sides. Start back here, uh, go to the correct side, and the nut goes on the inside, right here. Get a few turns, then put your other bolt over here, hook in there, then give it a few turns, and use your tools to tighten this up firmly that the latches uh, uh, move freely uh, with a little uh, res resistance to them. Okay, both uh, new uh, extended uh, hinge plates have been uh, mounted. So you see they're moving freely, plus our latch bolt location is lining up. We're going to install the latch bolts on both sides. I'm going to show you that. 
this is the latch bolt and there's a sleeve on there and the sleeve can freely twirl on this smooth part of the bolt so it will aid in the latch working a lot better if this is free to spin so let's do this this is your latch bolt position you screw this in okay both latch bolts are tight and you cannot twirl either one of these well that one's a little bit loose we're going to loosen him up just enough that this thing will freely spin right about there and the other one we loosen him up just a smidgen and about like that okay now we're going to test uh, the latch position and see how they close and we're going to make them adjust properly and the way you do that is you take your 13 millimeter an extension and what we do is we loosen both sides of these uh, lat front latches these are the mounting bolts and you want to you want it so they're moving back and forth where they can slide we're going to make this latch pin adjust just right in the right position forward and back uh, on both sides so loosen them both up just a little bit watching not to damage the wire or uh, do something to it okay the cable all right now what we're going to do i'm going to move you over here just a little bit so i can go in here i'm going to put these latches down like it was closing the hood and i pull up to make sure it's good and latched on both sides and then i feel the position and move them a little bit and then uh, i'm going to hit the hood release and we're going to do it again making sure they're latched and then uh, we're going to hit the hood release okay they're perfectly aligned carefully now what you do is hold it in position and get one of them tight not disturbing it okay now i can tighten the other one All right, that one's set. Now, I hold it down and tighten this one. Okay, now I can tighten the other. Okay. Your front latches are adjusted. That puts the back latches adjusted also. So now, when we mount the hood and close it, everything should work. I'm going to show you one other thing, though. Let's test... To be sure that all the latches release together so you can take each latch push down on the top black part till it snaps over here we're simulating closing of the hood all latches are uh, operated now i'm going to depress it and listen for the sound to be sure all of them uh, operate equally. Everything at the same time. Now, here's the thing. If that didn't happen, if you have the back latch is last, then this is the adjustment that you would work. And you'd loosen these two bolts right here. And then you can turn them and, and actually lengthen and shorten this up. So it's a trial and error that you have to work with to get this one to operate with all the others. That's what it amounts to.